Excuse for any mess, this is because I just kind of just put everything, moved everything out of the way. And before I start this video, I'm going to start saying the shit-tastic light returns. And all its, um, floppiness. Yeah. So, first thing you might notice is there's two of them. Second thing you might notice is they're on a blue cloth. Third thing you might notice is you don't know what they are. Uh, well, they look like little fans. That would be because they are little fans. Now, excuse that fan in the background being all dirty. I don't clean that one. I don't think I ever cleaned that one. I've had it for three and a half years. And I've used it quite a bit, and I'm going to clean it at one point. Uh, wasn't that dirty until recently either. Anyway, so what these are or a matching pair of Rotron personal fans. Now this one still has its rubber feet as you can see and they are hardened. They're hardened but they are still rubbery so I'm not as concerned about this one being on my desk. Oh, some of this is, I'm eating Neko's and Cinnamon Altoids. That's an interesting combination. Um, now I've already successfully put a couple marks in this desk so I'm trying now some of this is dirt like that one's these and this and this and this so that's um, I'm gonna try and keep it at that because I'm a little pissed off about that but I should have been more careful so from now on things that I'm video uh, videotaping wait I'm not taping them anymore but you know what I mean things I'm making videos of or fixing they're going to be on something unless they're something specific. If I'm taking something apart, I'm just going to put something down on the desk. I've moved my laptop over here. Uh, there's also going to be a little update in the, in the end of this video. Not really an update, but more of a... I want to explain a couple things. Uh, this one has none of its rubber feet left. I put new ones on. They fell off because they kind of rigged them, so I'm going to try something different. They are 15 watts, each 115 volts, 60 cycles. These are essentially muffin fans at heart. These are also branded under the Phantom name. They're made by Rotron. Yes, the same company that makes the muffin fans and the motors and the controllers for all that industrial equipment. These have variable speed. This one rattles like a bitch. This one rattles a little bit and it's going to be slow. So, even though I've lubricated them, it's fluctuating. I should I'm going to take this one all apart like I did to this one. This one's the better of the two, even though it rattles. It still, it still runs a little better. You know, it's starting to speed up. Yeah, well, these are very cool. That's really slow. This one has a uh, the neck on it. It's floppy. So, I don't know how to fix that. I had to take it apart and look at it. This one's better off. This one rattles. Other than the rattle, actually, runs a little nicer. That's low. Is all, it's all of a sudden it's just gonna start. It's just gonna speed up. See, it's happening. Yeah, it's gonna go up. But it moves a decent amount of air. They have this potentiometer. The base of these do get warm after a while of running on a higher, on a lower setting. There we go. Now it's all of a sudden speeding up. They're fluctuating quite a bit. These are very cool. They're very well made. They're very heavy little fans too. Very solid. 
you know, you got the uh, plastic wood grain. Now the grains do not match. Um, that didn't work too well. Back. See the motors are actually pretty in size. Gotta get my little flashlight over here. The shaded pole motors. These are from the early 70s. That right there is 22 neon lights. Yeah. The little indicator lamps that I, that are used in clocks and stuff is the backlight and I bought a whole bunch. Yeah. And I put them in these pill bottles because, you can see the resistors, because I figured that it would keep them safer in my toolbox. They'd have something more rigid than just some uh, bubble wrap. So yeah, that's kind of, I know it's not a very good video of these, but there's really not much to show with these. They're very easy to, to oil. You just, the same thing as with the Sprite fan. There's a little plug in the middle that just unscrews and you put oil in them. Now, I'll make a better video of these. I know we always say that, but I probably will forget and it'll probably happen about five years from now. That's normal for me. <laughs> anyway, so, if you have any questions about these, just let me know. Good job.